Okay. Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek here looking at Paradise Fallen. First copy, not even the actual finished game, but an advanced copy straight from the publisher, shipped to Gen Con. Woo! As fresh as it gets. That's right. The only way so, to get fresher is if you took it out of the box in China. Or before they even put it in the box in China. You have to like you have to stand under the conveyor belt with your mouth open and just have stuff like, fall in your mouth. Like soft serve. Just yes. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. So this is a game by Andrew Wright. There is nothing where we lie under conveyor belts in this game. No. Instead, we're uh, on islands doing stuff. Doing stuff. What, what, what's the stuff? What are we doing? So Paradise Fallen is a, is a game for two to four players in which you're taking on the role of a faction that is trying to survive and thrive in a poke uh, post-apocalyptic type right, so uh, event here in Hawaii. We're not sure what's happened. Uh, it's really the beginning to an entire universe uh, for this for this game. And so uh, what you're trying to do is you're trying to be the first player uh, to explore a certain number of islands. Uh, as you explore islands, you'll get uh, power cards that allow you to uh, get these powers from the Hawaiian god Kanaloa. And so basically it is a race to explore. Uh, meanwhile, you're screwing over your opponents with uh, different things you can put between islands uh, to make it harder to travel. So the green mist makes it cost more. So there's different things. But to go in a particular direction? Uh, is that how that works? No. What, what, it'll, what it'll mean, like this will actually tuck onto an island. So it'll modify that island's cost. So normally when you travel, it costs these ration cards that you have in your hand, which act as fuel. So if I was here and I wanted to travel here, there would normally just be one ration. But since there's a green mist here, it costs three to move. So that would be convenient. I'd be able to move here. And if I had that card in my hand, I'd be able to explore it. But I don't. So the exploration cards, like I have Kauai and Nihawa, I'd have to go to Kauai if I wanted to explore it. And then once I get there, I'd get a Kanaloa token. So it's, it's a great game of, of hand management, of comboing, because you can combo certain cards and certain powers. And ultimately, the underlying thing, it is a race to survive. So in a two-player game, the first player to explore eight of the nine islands would win. And with more players, fewer islands. Yeah. Scales three players, seven, four players, six. You can actually explore more than the victory condition, and in that case, you would win. Because sometimes we found in games, the two players would explore the same amount, the winning amount on the same turn. So with the tiebreaker being whoever has the the most unused Kanaloa tokens. Because once you use the power, it is a it is a one and done. Once you use it, you keep it in front of you still, but it's it's gone. So it's out of the deck, like do you shuffle through the deck again, or it's just... Yeah, you know, the discard pile fills up, you shuffle back through the deck. There's a couple different cards. There's exploration cards, which match the islands. There's ration cards uh, that are how you move. Uh, there's this card. This card is uh, an aberration. So these either get played on the islands or in between. So this is how you can maybe trap your opponent in a section. And then there's uh, ability cards, which allow you to break the rules of the game. Normally, you have to move orthogonally. This one will let you move diagonally for an entire turn. So basically, deciding how to, how to play your hand and what to use and what to save is the heart of the game. And so this is, as we said, the advanced production copy. When, when is the game actually hitting the source? Uh, Paradise Fallen is due out to the Kickstarter backers, knock on wood, uh, the end of October. And it will be hitting retail stores uh, sh just about the same time as BGG Con. It'll be uh, debuting at BGG Con. Great price point, $19.99 for a fantastic, very approachable game. Now you mentioned uh, before we went on camera here, this was the idea of doing more games in this world that you're trying to do. What, yeah. What's the so idea? Paradise Fallen is is a theme that that I came up with and created. Um, I worked with Andrew about marrying his game with with my theme. Um, originally, this was a space exploration game, um, but Paradise Fallen is a, is a theme where something has happened in Paradise. We don't know. Is it an apocalyptic event? Did something happen? You know, Hawaii is a good you know, six hours by plane to anywhere, so we don't quite know. So I'm, I'm really looking to expand this into a bigger board game, uh, into a light, approachable RPG. I'm working with some people, uh, some industry experts in the RPG world on that. So really, this is kind of just a, a taste of Paradise Fallen, and hopefully, you know, people see enough or are intrigued enough by the art and the theme to want to take it further. 
Well, thanks for the overview. Yeah, and good luck. The copy looks, everything looks good so far. Where else are you going to get outrigger canoe maples? The fresh smell. He's taking up all the new game smell. Watch out, babies. He will sniff your babies. <laughs> yes, your babies. That's what they call them. The babies.